Southern rock band probably ever. And I always like to send this song out to uh, service members of this country. Past, present, and future. If you've ever served the United States of America and the armed forces, I thank you very much. I have not had to do that. This song was written around the, uh, during the Vietnam era, which was the last time that we had a uh, conscription in this country. Everybody had to serve if you were able bodied. Every man, I will have a boy, I guess. And uh, that's, a, that's a much different thing than what we live in right now, folks. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you. If you, you, if you, if you ever think that uh, if you ever think that global politics don't matter, just think about the fact that if you had to go serve, how would you feel about wars being started all over the world and you and your buddies having to go sign up for them? You, you'd really want to know a lot about what's going on. And so the people that are serving this country, I think, deserve that respect for us to really think about why we're sending them off to serve for our country. I particularly like to send this song out to any veteran that's ever come home without a place to go, without a job, without a reliable source of food for them and their families. Because, folks, that's a real thing. And it's a sad thing to have to admit, but we have to admit it. Because in 2019, in the United States of America, the richest country on earth, there are people that go and serve their country and they come home to nothing. And that's not okay. All right? So, we can talk about voting later. But I tell you what, we can all join up and just maybe stop that from happening. You know what I mean? If you go serve your country, then how about you come home to a little bit of security. That's all I'm asking. All right? So let's think about those people when we sing this song and uh, when we uh, kind of transport into another place. This song goes out to them. Yeah. 